In the year of 1948, war veteran and successful jazz saxophonist Bill Jameson, disgusted by the horrors of war, swore to prevent it from ever happening again. With the help of his brother Tim, he compiled a skilled ensemble of exceptional individuals of diverse backgrounds and skill sets. The one thing they all had to have in common, be competent jazz musicians. Rosie, Murphy, Ben, and Hank joined the Jameson Brothers to form the Jazz Association of Secret Spies. Thus, Jazz was created. <laughs> when Bill realized that the United Nations was already founded a few years ago to serve the same purpose, he asked, Why am I hearing about this now, Tim? <laughs> it only took him a moment to answer his own question by saying, well, at least we are way cooler, daddy -o. <laughs> Apart from this minor technicality, Jazz provided its worth again and again by forcing the government to acknowledge their existence. They even retained their services on various occasions in exchange for secrecy. Jazz members operated as jazz artists by day and secret agents by night sometimes vice versa. Nobody could explain why jazz was such an important element of the organization, but the first years of their operation were so successful that nobody ever questioned it. Bill believed that the more popular they became in the jazz scene, the less they would be suspected on espionage missions. As a wise man once said, you don't need to hide if you can be invisible. That man was Bill. <laughs> Hey guys, Rorius here, welcome to Hank's Voyage! The developer of this game actually reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing or be interested in uh, giving their game a try and, and showing it off on the channel. <laughs> so I said, hell yeah! I, I looked at the description and, and saw what it was about and I was like, this sounds great. <laughs> Alright, let's jump right into it. I had a quick look at the controls. I probably should use a controller, but I'm a keyboard. <laughs> keyboard connoisseur. I just prefer a keyboard usually. Uh, Alright. That The Nightingale has landed. What? It's Hank. I'm in Giza. I can see the hotel from here. Well, what did they say? I didn't go in yet. What are you calling? <laughs> Why are you calling then? Get in there. I called to tell you that I have arrived. Jesus, Bill. Get on with the program. <laughs> Fine. Call me when you find something. <laughs> I'm looking for Ben Duncan. He should be staying here. Ah yes, Mr. Duncan has, re has a reservation in the room 186, but he hasn't been around for a few days. Sir? <laughs> he just slaps the door open. <laughs> Secret. Here. <laughs> Bill, I think I know where Ben is. I'm going after him. Yeah. <laughs> ah, are these like levels, are they? Are these the stages? <laughs> cool, cool. Not too far away. Mm. Yeah, so here we play a secret agent jazz musician. <laughs> I'm really curious how the jazz plays into the, like the gameplay. <laughs> if, it, if it plays into the gameplay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright. Space to jump, yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, that's. If you go that way, you go back to the map. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, wait, let's read all these. Hold space to jump higher, yeah. Is it eight? Oh. I looked at the controls before I started. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. How do we get up there? <laughs> yeah, maybe I can... Oh, wait, actually, let's read this. Oh, I had to throw the hat. You can use it to collect items. Oh, okay. See, I would have spent ages trying to, like, jump and crouch in there. <laughs> I'm glad I read it. Fighting snail, are you there? Just arrived, and it's Nightingale. <laughs> right. What do you see? Sand, mostly. 
I mean, what's the situation? I'm about to head in and find out. The only thing of note so far has been a couple of oversized bugs. Okay, keep me updated. Roger that. Actually, is that oversized bu oversized scarab beetle thingy? No, he's flown off. I might have another opportunity to kill it. Because I think I need to kill them all. Um, oh. Hold down or cr control the crouch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was like, what am I running into? There's a yeah, block there. Jump on snakes and a head to bounce on it. It can be stunned with the hat first. <laughs> Neat. Oh, oh, I can do that. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Do I also? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Get back here, you. Damn it. There's a, there's a max range. Okay, let's have a look at this. Aether had a glowing arrow to give them some extra push. Oh. <laughs> oh, neat. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. You found a challenge a challenge door. There are four different types of them found in different levels. Ah. Oh. Challenges are not mandatory for completing your level, but they offer rewards. Ooh. Okay, reach the truth without taking any damage. Okay. Okay, I can't kill these guys, I don't think. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shit. Okay, again, again, again. <laughs> oh, I, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed up for jump instead of freaking spacebar. <laughs> okay. No, they're they're immune. <laughs> there we go. I was like, I wonder if I can just jump straight from the from that position. I can. Yay! <laughs> I've collected my reward. A new artwork. Ooh, all unlockables can be viewed at the gallery. Okay, cool. I'll look at it later. I'll look at it at the end. We'll see what we collected. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Yeah, so when you've already collected... Hell yeah. I was gonna say, when you've already collected a scarab beetle, it goes transparent. Yeah, so this is like teaching me all the... Oh! All the little tricks. Oh. Press A to throw the hat at the glowing arrows to give them... Yeah, a little extra push. <laughs> oh. I was gonna say, I've noticed a few other breakable, a few other breakable blocks around. What's this? Lost journal. Press W to read it. Ben's journal number one. I was enjoying a nice cup of coffee on the terrace of the hotel when I saw a couple of guys dressed up in black, wearing dark shades, approaching the reception. One of them looked clearly more important than the other. My first thought was, they must be CIA. This is exactly how I would go about it if I was CIA. I acted immediately. I grabbed a newspaper from the, an adjacent table and pretended to read it, very subtly by spreading it wide open to cover my whole face as I was approaching the reception. I caught the name Steve and the room number 211. Oh. Okay. I wonder if that's going to be some sort of like intrigue thing that keeps up, you know, that, <laughs> that we read about a bunch. Ow. Oh, ow. <laughs> ow. Oh, he's got a scarab beetle. No! <laughs> Get back here. Okay, wait, no, I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> there we go, yes. Yes! So wait, how do I activate this? Is this something I can activate? 
I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I can activate it. Oh. Oh, I see. I like the automatic sneaking thing. I was briefly thinking, uh, like I wonder if there's a way for me to sneak. And uh, yeah, that immediately reminded me of um, one of my favorite. Oh, ah! <laughs> it immediately reminded me of one of my favorite games of all time, or game series of all time, and that is the Abe, the Oddworld games, Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus, <laughs> sneaking around the guards. All right. Ah, oh, damn it. I like the music, the jazzy music playing in the background all the time. <laughs> that's, that's pleasing. Damn it. Oh, I got it. Got it this time. Cool. Find a lost journal. Press W. Oh, yeah, right, right, of course. Sarah's journal, number one. I've finally done it. I have finished my finest creation, a detector. But Sarah, a detector of what, you might ask? <laughs> and I would place my hand on your shoulder, laugh gently and say, well, you got me there. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I have no clue what this damn thing detects. It seems to be reacting to some sort of energy or radiation, but it doesn't match any sort of energy source that I'm aware of. The numbers just don't add up. Perhaps I have discovered yet a new type of energy, previously unknown to the modern world. I must run more tests. I wonder if it's like a... Well, this is set in the 40s, so nuclear fallout and stuff like that would already be known. I was like, maybe it's radioaction, radioactive, you know, energy. <laughs> oh. Watch out! The guard might be armed. Is there any delay on your video feedback? You're past them already? <laughs> yes. Did you watch out? Yes, Bill, I did. Good. Keep your eyes peeled. There will be more of them. Thanks for the heads up. Catch you later. <laughs> Ooh, uh, this looks familiar. This looks like a... There's an old Aladdin game. God, this is, this is so reminiscent of that. <laughs> there we go. Oh god. All the souls leaving their bodies. It's not actually, because we're, um... We're not killing them. <laughs> We're just uh, removing the curse or whatever is on them. <laughs> What's this? Ooh, another challenge. Okay, let's have a read. Challenge rooms can sometimes be well challenging. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, I'll just do it as fast as I can. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> it didn't launch me high enough. <laughs> I got to the area. Do I have to like hold jump or something when I'm on it? Oh! There we go. Oh, 0.6 of a second left. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> there was a 0.6 of a second remaining. <laughs> By the way, I have, to, I have to say, I love jazz. Oh, I love like jazzy espionage music. Oh, this is a checkpoint is what it is. That's what's happening. Yep. I love the like jazzy... Like, and, and the whole, like, espionage idea. There's something about that music. Ever since, I think it was ever since I played Sly Raccoon. Or it's called Sly Cooper, I think, in the US. Um, ever since I played that game, and it had that sort of, like, had, like, jazzy espionage music. Uh, whenever you would do stuff, like, all the sound effects and stuff would be, like, whenever you hit something, it would be, like, POW! <laughs> If you know what I mean. <laughs> it's just, ever since I played that game, I've loved... It's probably before that, but I've always loved that style. That sound. Use your hat to activate the lever. Oh, right. Yeah. Ah. Uh. 
Get rid of him real quick. Press D to roll once. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go like, something like this. I rolled, oh. Oh, that killed him. That killed me. No wonder there's a checkpoint right there. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Okay. Oops. <laughs> oh. But yeah. So yeah, I freaking I freaking love I'm loving the the style of this game already. I realize now I missed something else early I missed something earlier on, didn't I? I just noticed that um there was like a platform going up earlier. I'm pretty sure I never went up. There was one of those like one of these kind of platforms, like this one here. And I never st stood on it. I found one of four pieces from a comic book. Get all four to read it. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. <laughs> let's keep- oh! Lots of attacks. Only the bullet once. Oh, your hat to activate the hat block. Oh, I see the hat block now. <laughs> I see it. I was gonna say, how do I get my hat back? <laughs> I have to wait. Oopsies. What's that? I thought so. <laughs> oh, so wait, you, when you first click to... Oh. When you first collect a scarab, it doesn't automatically get added to your inventory. It, it like, holds onto it above your head until you land. That's clever. That's a clever little mechanic. Oh! Oh, I nearly got him. I nearly got it to land on his head. I see that breakable block. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shit. Damn it. <laughs> no way. Nowhere near. No, okay, you can't jump over him. Hmm, how do I do this? Okay, I can just run past him. Good, good. Oh! <laughs> Once again, I failed to kill him. I didn't know that what that was gonna activate. <laughs> oh. Oh, no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Just like, I've screwed up this this, uh, this map, this section, in almost every way you can screw it up. There we go. Okay, now get out of the way, or I'll go. Hey, no, I'll go on this. <gasps> okay, can I grab it from this side? I cannot. <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah. You want to check the controls, you can press escape. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, did I get- oh, I got all 32 scarab beetles. Yay! <laughs> oh. Hello? Oh, wait. Hello? Oh. Oh, no, it was- Hello. What is it now, Bill? I am not Bill. Who is this? How did you find this frequency? Actually, it wasn't that hard. What do you want? I think we might be able to help each other out. How do I know I can trust you? You don't. <laughs> Yet. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> a little jazzy number at the end there. Yeah, this is good. Though apparently time played only 14 minutes, but according to my recording, I've been playing for about 24. <laughs> so, oh, I got both challenges. I got both lost journals and the comic pieces. Uh, the one comic piece. Uh, oh, so I got everything. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Uh, continue. We'll see about doing the next level. Uh, <laughs> we don't have time to do much more than that, but we'll do the next level. I'm really liking this so far. This is really cool. I like the stylizations. Perform a crouch jump. Yeah. Oh, I see. You can just straight up jump while crouching. <laughs> Alright. What's in here? I'm assuming this is a... Is there a sparkle? Oh, there's a little, like, poof, poof, a particle effect happening down here. Weird. Unless that's something... Oh, I see! Ah, oh, okay, I gotta keep my eyes out for that then. Oh, <laughs> glad I checked, because I was not going to. Hell yeah. Oopsies. <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah. I know I can just use my hat, but I just, I like to, <laughs> I like doing that. There we go. Oh, I keep forgetting there's a snakes. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, checkpoint, thank you. Thank you, game. Oh, I didn't know that. So if I hold A, I can, like... <laughs> oh, neat. While grab to press space to perform a controlled jump, or up to perform a full jump. Oh, I see. I've been using up most of the time, I think. Let's get rid of that guy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh. Oh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh. <laughs> Found a lost journal, yeah. Annie's journal, or Annie. Annie? Annie. These are the last words of the great Ma Magus Arnie, <laughs> ascribed upon his deathbed. During my time as the royal vizier, I was tasked with supervising the construction of the good enough pyramid, <laughs> the one we would call uh, Nefenramon's horizon. To expedite the process, I harnessed great magic in order to write a magical scroll that would improve the ob obedience of our slaves. After the success of the control scroll, the pharaoh commissioned other similar scrolls that would ensure the hold, his hold, of his people. I had no choice but to comply. <laughs> Wait, did did the did that pharaoh use the control scroll on the on him? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. All oh, right, so now that I know, I can aim my hat. There we go. <laughs> okay, how do I get to that one? There we go. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sh- oh, damn it. Oh, the hat has three lives. <laughs> I see. Oh. <laughs> I should just use these. <laughs> there we go. Before we go that way, though, 
That feels like the way you're supposed to go. What's up this way? Ooh. Another page of the comic book. What's down here? Oh, it's back outside the... Oh, I see, okay. Alright, through here. Alright. <laughs> I love the little crouch jump. It's, it's, it's adorable. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, we got another challenge. What's this one gonna be? Reach the treasure without getting detected by alarming any enemies. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> I like how these guys are just inside. Like a an ancient tomb puzzle. Move along. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> I should be clean sailing. Smooth sailing is the word, not clean sailing. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, at the end of the episode, we'll oopsies, we'll have a look through all the uh <laughs> all those. All the stuff we've unlocked for the gallery. Wait, what did it say? Oh! Oh, I see. <laughs> it's, ah. <laughs> but they slowly sl glide downwards. Alright. Yeah, I might have missed some stuff, but it's alright. <laughs> I like it you can jump off their heads. Um, there we go. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> That's cool, I like that. I just do this until until one of them get, manages to kill him. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he only stays knocked out for a little while. I see that now. Oh, I saw. Oh, I missed a block. No. <laughs> I didn't see that until just now. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, he can see a little higher than I thought. But I can get past him without <laughs> using the bugs, without knocking him out. <laughs> nice. Oh, and there's a challenge up there. Oh, whoops. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> Can I load from checkpoint? Last checkpoint. There we are. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, it keeps the scarab beetles you collect, which is nice. I like that. Oh, I think I get it. Okay, I'm just gonna spawn a few of them. No? They don't carry over? Okay. Is there any way I can get through? No. Excusez-moi. <laughs> Damn it. No! <laughs> oh! They, yeah, they stayed. Oh, okay, they spawned in again. Oh, now these ones are carrying stuff. No! <laughs> okay, let's just get him to. 
There we go. There we go. I lost some health, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, reach the treasure by using your hat. Oh, I see. Okay. Yay! <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I uh, collected your reward, yeah. Friggin' awesome. <laughs> I don't think I've failed a single one of those. Like, I think I managed to figure them out. Figure every single one of those out. What are those shiny things you've been collecting? I'm not sure, but they look valuable. Why are you collecting them then? Because they were shiny. Because they were shiny? <laughs> I bet you can't collect that one using your hat. One lost bet coming right up. Look at me go. Oh? <laughs> Wait, what? Damn! What happened? A crow stole my hat. That's a very valuable piece of equipment. Murphy's gonna skin me for this. I'll get it back. Until then, don't tell Murphy. Sure thing. Oh dear, okay. So now I'm just, I'm hatless. I feel so naked. <laughs> Is that a platform? No, that's not a platform there. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Hey, get back here. No, he stole the friggin' the scarab beetle, the bastard. Wait, if I go, there we go. I can get these two, but there's no way I can get the other one without my hat. And I can't throw my hat at the pile. Oh, that's the end of the level. No, I didn't want to end the level. No, <laughs> shit. Oh, and I missed a lost journal. Damn it. <laughs> Retry it? No, no, no. We'll just quit. We'll go back to the main menu. Um, oh, wait, no, wait. Load this so I can... Oh, wait, there was... Exit to main, exit to main menu, yes. Wait, there it is. Gallery. There we go. So we got the... Oh, the golden scarab? Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah, we saw this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did we... Oh, we got that we saw the journals. We didn't get enough for the comics, but we got artwork. Here we go. Hank Murray is a jazz singer, a hat enthusiast, and a secret agent, becoming the latest addition to the... to jazz. Uh... Becoming the latest addition to jazz is one of his greatest achievements. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> jazz wouldn't exist without the Jameson brothers. Bill is the leader of the association and a notorious saxophonist. He's always preferred doing office work. On the other hand, if there's anything Tim loves more than his trumpet, it's working on the field. So these are the brothers, they look identical. <laughs> well, not identical. One of them has moustache going up, one of them has moustache going down. <laughs> Sometimes taking enemies head on is, an, is not the best way to go. This is why Hank has learned to, uh, learned to blend in with the environment and go unnoticed. Rosie McGee is the vehicle specialist of jazz and the bassist of the band. There's no vehicle she does not know how to drive, and she's the only one to be able to operate some of the exclusive jazz tech. I was also the bassist of the band. <laughs> that was my role. Uh, anyway, yeah, that is, for now, Hank's Voyage. I love the styling of this. I love the premise. I love a good platformer, like a puzzle platformer uh, with secrets and stuff like that. Like, I, I mentioned um, the sneaking immediately reminded me of Abe's Odyssey and Abe's Exodus. Some of my favorite games of all time, so I look forward to seeing the progress of Hank's Voyage. <laughs> I shall return to this once it's like fully released or, you know, upon further development. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe! Until the next time we play Hank's Voyage. Thanks so much for watching and until next time. <laughs>